G'day, Argy Bargy crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, I've got a few people asking how to uh, upload external mods, not the workshop mods because that's done automatically, but external mods that you get from other websites and uh, exactly how to unzip them if they're in RAW format or zip format, uh, etc. So because I've been getting quite a few of them, I decided I'd make a video. Uh, because I tend to be able to explain things a lot better with visual clues instead of just uh, writing it down and typing it in uh, Discord or whatever. But anyway, so with that all said, please, if you like this video uh, and you find it entertaining or informative, click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, do that as well because it's free. You might as well. And uh, share it with a friend if you think they might find it useful. Uh, and the reason I'm saying all this at the beginning of the video is because YouTube tells me to. <laughs> Normally I would do it at the end. But anyway. Uh, okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a program to unzip any zip files that you may get. Not all mods will come zipped. Some will be uh, just in the normal .scs file. But some will come zipped. This, this is to show you how to unzip and upload. To the mod folder in game now if it's just a standard dot scs uh, file it's just simply a matter of uh, downloading it and transferring it over to your mod folder but this will help anyway even if it's just that so again like i say you'll need a zip program or a unzipping program the one i use let's drag it over here and i'll show you is called 7zip as you can see up here in the left hand corner uh, but it could be anything like WinRAR. That will do exactly the same job. Uh, or WinZip. Uh, any of the zip programs will normally do. But main two that are used are WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use 7-Zip mainly because I'm used to it. And that's why you can get that off of 7-Zip.org. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So you can get to it at any time you want. So once you've got the zip program downloaded, You'll then go to the website that you want to get the mod from and you'll buy it or you'll download it if it's free, etc. If it is a zip folder or zip file, what I normally do is I create beforehand a mod zip folder on another drive. So let's bring this over. And as you can see up here, I've uh, on my portable SSD drive G. I have a folder called American Sim, and within that folder, I have a mod zip folder. And as you can see, this is where all my zip folders or zip files come to when I download them. So I do that only so that if I need to, I know exactly where they are, and I'm not downloading zip files directly into my mod folder in game. So I recommend that you make your own zip, mod zip folder. So that you can download them directly there and then unzip them from there and plonk them into your actual in-game mod folder. All right? So pretty simple. You just make a mod zip folder on another drive, download your uh, zip folders or files to it so they're ready to rock and roll. Now, to open a zip file, you can do one of actually three things depending on the programs that you're using. Because I'm using 7-Zip, I'll show you in that. But it's basically the same in any of the ZIP programs. So as you can see here, I have all the ZIP files uh, defaulting to the 7-Zip. That's why they've got the 7-Z marks on them. If you default it to WinRAR, it will have the WinRAR uh, logo on it. And therefore, you can just simply double-click it, and it will open up in your ZIP program. Or if you don't have that, you can right-click on them, and 7-Zip or WinRAR will come up in your little uh, drop-down here. And then you can just simply click on that and click on Open Archive, and it will open. All right, so again, that's just a right-click. Go to the program that you want to open it in, Open Archive, and it will open up. If you don't or can't do it even that way, then what you can do is just simply go to the program itself. Uh, in this instance, it's 7-Zip, so I'm going to 7-Zip, 
I will click on it. Um, I have it defaulting to the mod zip folder, and then I can just simply find the program that I want or the folder or the zip file I want, and I can click on that. Whichever way you do it, okay, again, I'll show you that one so you can see that. Go to your zip program, whether it's WinRAR, 7-Zip, whatever it is, click on it, locate the mod zip folder, locate the zip file that you want, double click on that, and it will open up. Once it's open, you want to go right into it. In other words, if it's a closed file like this, sorry, a closed file folder like this one, you want to open it up and read any text files that are in it. The reason you want to read any text files is because it normally contains important information on how to uh, unzip the files and where to unzip the files and what files to unzip. So we'll click on that, and this pops up. And then, as you see here, thank you for choosing one of our mods. The farm is fully compatible with all my other farms, blah, blah, blah. So this was done from Frankenstyle uh, Mods. This is the Tulsa Logistic Park. I'm just using this in the, as an example. Also, uh, this will explain if you've got anything off this. Uh, these guys, they do a great job with their um, their uh, farms and yards and depots. I've got the Tulsa one, I've got the uh, Lubbock one, and I've also got the Denver one that I use. But this one, we're just using the Tulsa one as a demo. And as you can see, there's two files it's telling you to unpack or unzip, and they're telling you that you must place them in the mod folder. Files are what you need to do. There will be other information if needed in these text files. We're not going to bother with that because that's another story. This is um, telling you that you can create your own banners and, and signs in the depot. Again, I'll probably do another video showing exactly how you can create your own logos and whatnot to place in your depot. But that's another story. Let's not get, get confused with that. So these are the two files that you want in this particular zip file. So what you do is you'd locate them. And they're right here. Now, before you go and unzip things, if, if you've got any images like PNGs or JPEGs, it always pays to take a look at them because they normally provide you with more information on what you need to do. So let's click on that. Okay. And what this particular image is doing is it's showing you the location of where your new depot will be so that when you go in game, you can find it because the worst thing you want is to um, upload your mod and then not being able to find it. So this will show you where it is and how to locate it on the map. So once you've done that, close it down. So now you want to highlight these two folders that you want to unzip. And then you go to extract. Once you go to extract, you want to locate your mod folder. Now, the mod folder for American Truck Simulator is in Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod. Okay, I'll do that again. Close things down so you can see where it was. Okay, so Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod. And that's where you want to drop your. Uh, unzipped files into your mod folder. So any external mods that you get, you will be putting them into this mod folder. So documents, American Struct Simulator, mod. Okay, then click OK. Now, as you can see, that's all showing there. I'm not going to do it. I'll just click on this and show you that it's, it's telling me that I'll be overriding them because I've already done this. Um, but all you would do is click OK, like I just did, and then you would click Yes, and it will then extract them to the folder for you. So again, click on and choose the folders that you want. You can click on more than one by clicking the first one, holding down Shift, and clicking on the second one. Then once you've done that, click Extract, locate the folder that you want. Again, Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod.
once you've done that click OK then you click OK again and it will automatically extract them to your mod folder so that's where all your external mods will go not your workshop mods your workshop mods will do that automatically for you the steam uh, updates them automatically and downloads them to your workshop mod folder this is your external mod folder okay so once you've done that now you're ready to have a look in game we'll get rid of this and see where your mods are now when you do this you click play and you will go into the launch pad. Once you're in the launch pad, you'll want to go to your mod manager. Okay, so we would click on mod manager here, or you can click here, either one. They take you to the mod manager. This one up here, or this one down here. We'll go with this one because it's marked clearly that it's mod manager, it's easier to remember. Now, once you're in here, you will see all your mods. Now, because you will be putting new mods in, the new mods will be up here somewhere. But because my mods are already in there, I'll just type in the search bar, Tulsa, and there's the Tulsa mods. They're already in there, but we're going to take them out. And then I'm going to show you how you would put them in. Whoops. Okay, so this is what they'll look like. They'll be grayed out like this, meaning that they're ready to go into your. Um, oops, get rid of that one. They're ready to go into your active mods. Okay, so what you would do, you would either click on that to highlight it. So click on your mod and highlight it, and then click your arrow to bring it across into your active mods. Or you can alternatively double click on it and it will automatically go across for you. So again, double clicking will bring them out. You can either, like I say, highlight and click the arrow to bring it across, or you can double click it to make it a bit quicker, and they will be put into your active mods. Then once they're in your active mods, you want to place them, uh, depending on what type of mod it is. In this situation, it's a graphical and um, texture mod, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know the exact word, but it's, uh, uh, it, yeah, it's it's a, a, a yard, okay? So what you want to do is decrease that and bring it down underneath uh, the background maps or the sound. I always put sound fixes at the top because it performs way better that way. It's always my number one go-to mod is the sound fixes mod, and it's always at the very top of my mod list. That's just a little hint. Uh, or tip for you and then bring down the Tulsa logistics down underneath your background maps whatever so this being that it's a graphical interface or um, assets type thing uh, I bring it down underneath the maps now if you're looking for what order to put your mods in being sound mods graphic mods accessory mods trailer mods truck mods etc etc map mods I have another video that I made a while back that explains all that. I will leave a link to that in the description below so you can then have a look at that as well. And then that will explain what order you can put your mods in and maps in so that they don't conflict with each other, etc. All right. So again, to get the mod across into the active mods, you just highlight it, click the arrow. It comes across or double click it bring it across and it brings it in all right so that is simply uh, how you do it. it it's pretty simple once you know how and from then on uh, you should be right now again if it's just a simple dot uh, sorry yeah dot scs file meaning it doesn't need to be unzipped you would then just take it from wherever you downloaded it and place it in your mod folder being documents american truck simulator mod and you just simply plunk it in there and it will then show up in here and you do exactly what i just did you would bring it across into the active mods and place it in the order that it should be in so that it doesn't conflict with all, any of the other mods as you can see here with this uh 
profile. I've got quite a few mods, uh, but it's not the biggest one. Uh, I've got another one, which, where are we? Just to quickly show you. This one here has 109. I've even got another one that's got about 130 mods on it. Now, people will tell you that mods will always cause problems, and I will tell you, yes, they can do. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Mods can cause problems. For example, at the moment, because we're on the 1.50 uh, update, if you have a look here, you will see that I have, once we get down here, quite a few that are incompatible with the 1.50. But what I do is I ignore them and I create another profile uh, for the new update. I leave this one uh, as it is. And as the mods become updated to match the latest update, I then will replace the outdated ones with the new current ones. And then I still, I am able to retain that profile and not lose anything, if you know what I mean. I have to wait a while. But again, that's what one of the things that will happen when you use mods. Again, I'm not here to tell you that mods don't cause problems. They can do. And they do. And if they do, then you've got to sort it out. That's just part of using mods. So, yeah, hopefully uh, that was uh, self-explanatory and you could understand what I was uh, getting at here, how to uh, unzip and how to load your mods. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask down in the comments. I love answering questions and helping people out. Uh, you can either do that, like I say, down in the comments below or on my Discord channel. And uh, there's other guys there that can help you out as well. Uh, that'll be in the description below as well, a link to the Discord channel. And if you did like it, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. You might as well. Also, uh, if uh, you've got any friends that might uh, benefit from having a look at this, please share the video with them and let them know. And uh, hopefully, if you did enjoy it, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.